Hey, what's going on, Virgos? Butch Terrell here. Gonna do your two week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Uh, always feel free to comment down below. We're gonna be using this, is actually the first deck I've ever done tarot on. Not this particular deck, but the Celtic tarot. Um, still one of my favorites. But it's the, it's the one I, when I first started doing tarot, this is what I learned on. I know a lot of people uh, went with basic decks, but I, I'm an overachiever. <laughs> that being said, let's get it. Universe, what do we have for Virgo? What is going on for Virgo Universe? It's time for a new deck. It's a little bit, it's a little bit soft. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna explain what I'm laughing at, but if you just caught what I said, you'll get it. Sometimes my mind goes in the bad places. But anyway, <laughs> with that being said, what I see here. There is someone, now this could be somebody new coming in or somebody that you're already dealing with, but there's someone that is very, there's a very in and out energy with this person. I feel like, you know, I, I just feel this, I mean, we have the five of pentacles, very hot and cold energy. You know, I feel like it's very hard to get a read on this person and how they feel. Now, I just feel like, like I said, I feel like there's just a, just, the reason why they're hot and cold is because they're very defensive. They're very guarded. You know, they have their walls up. Now, with this person, I feel like... I feel like they have a lot of feelings for you. And I, I, I feel it happening very quickly, which is almost... Part of the reason why this person is so guarded. Now... Because we have the moon card, I feel like they're hiding their feelings. And I feel like you feel something with this person, but you're not you're not feeling it back. You know what I mean? Like you you in their energy you feel something. Something that's pulling you toward them, but yet you're not sure how they feel because this in and out energy, I feel like it's very confusing. I I feel like I feel like there's a lot of late nights and anxiety coming for you. Or maybe you're already dealing with this, but it's based on the fact that you feel something strong for this person. Some very strong feelings, very strong pull. Uh, you feel needed by this person. You know, you feel like this is the type of person that you've been waiting for. But then, then there's then there's the sleepless nights because of the fact that you're not getting that back from this person. Uh, it's almost like the more you give them, the more they pull away. Now, what I really see in this person, this person lacks confidence. Um, you know, I, I just feel like this person is dealing with a lot. I feel like there's a lot going on for this person. I feel like they have a lot of trust issues. And they don't trust easily. And even though they have those feelings for you, they're, they're really not... They're, they're really in a place where they need you, but they have a hard time telling you. I, I feel like this scares them. The fact that they, they, the way they feel about you, I feel like that scares them. Because like I said, I feel like they do deal with a lot of issues. I feel like there is a lot of confidence issues. I feel like this person has been taken advantage by multiple people in the past. This could be something that stems deeply. And, it, and it's not just so much relationships i feel like it stems deeply into maybe even their childhood um not being able to trust the people that they should be able to trust and not you know and i feel like that led to some you know we, we have the that devil card the shadow in this deck 
Uh, I do feel like there may be some... There's some addiction going on here. Like, there's some burden on this person. And now, when I say addiction, I mean, a lot of people think about drugs, alcohol, that sort of things. But, I mean, it could be that. But there's also other addictions. Like, sometimes you can be addicted to negative thinking. You know, you could be addicted to, um, you know, that that negative type thinking, like thinking everybody's out to get you, thinking that you can never trust anybody, thinking that everybody that gives you anything is expecting more back. Or there's just a lot of issues swirling with this person and it, it, they lack confidence in themselves. They lack confidence in the in the relationships that they can build because of the fact that, like I said, this, this, this scars that this person holds, I, I feel like it, it, really goes back to their childhood. It's, it, I don't really feel like it's as much related to past relationships. I mean, I, I do feel like they've been hurt by past relationships as well, but I feel like the deepest the deepest cuts this person has is, is from that childhood. Now, when we grow up in, in a way that people, um, that we, we should trust, we, you know, we should be able to trust um, when they hurt us, that's a that's a that's a scar that that really burns for a long time. Um, and like I said, this was causing this person to, to lack that that confidence to move forward with this. Um, partly that, and I feel like a part of this is also them testing you. I feel like they want you to be the one. Uh, they want you to to be who they think that you are. They want to believe this is true, but they have a hard time with that. And, I, and it's just, it goes back to them trust issues. Um, those burdens that this person holds. You know, I feel like they have a hard time taking that leap of faith. They have a hard time beginning this journey because they don't trust themselves. Um, you know, they're afraid of getting hurt. How they feel about you already scares them. And, and, and to open up to you... Uh, I just feel like that's just such a big step for them. But with all that being said, I do see this as someone that I feel like you being there for this person and you you continuously giving to this person, you know, that that Virgo nature. I I just feel like you giving to this person, you being there for this person, um you know, and I feel like that that's going to be the catalyst that's really going to change things here. You know, I do see a lot of big changes. You know, I feel like you see something in this person that no one else has. And I feel like that's why there's so much more here to come. You know, this person, they can only fight this feeling that they have for you for so long. And I feel like it's hard for them. They don't want to fight it. They don't. I mean, this back and forth energy is because of the internal struggle they deal with inside. They want to give to you. They want this to be the, you know, they want this to be authentic. They want to believe that this is actually real and that this is something that they can have. And they believe so much in that, that emotionally they know they're not walking away from this. Um, you know, their feelings for you is only getting stronger. And that's what's causing these big changes with that Six of Swords. That's what's causing this person to start to come out of their shell. And you're going to notice a big difference in this person moving forward. You know, I feel like that communication is coming. You know, I feel like they are going to open up to you. Like, but from the beginning, I mean, they're not they're not the type of person that's going to take a leap of faith right at the beginning. Like I said, they got to trust it. They got to, you know, they got to get this through their head that not everybody's out to hurt them. And I feel like that's part of that addiction, you know, addicted to negative thinking. And I, a lot of people, um, I mean, it does, it does usually come with other addictions, but it can be just that. Um, you know, sometimes people drink or do drugs to avoid that type of thinking, um, you know, numbing themselves. But like I said, I feel like this person is coming out. I feel like you being there for this person and you giving to this person <coughs> is causing them a lot of, to gain a lot of balance, you know, with that justice card. And I feel like the most beautiful thing about this read that I, that I really enjoy is you, you see something in this person that maybe they don't even see yet. 
but being there for this person, being that person uh, that shows them a different way, that's that will cause them, once they open up, once they open that communication, that will cause them, uh, you know, just to be able to show you that love. Finally being able to trust themselves, being able to trust someone else, um, you know, unlocking all that love they have to give. Now, there is going to be a part of this person, I feel like there is going to be, um, there is going to be points when they test you. You know, it's almost like they give you ways out. You know, they they give you options to see if you will still stay. And, and it's not a game. It, it's gonna, it sounds like a game when I say it that way. It's It's to basically test you to see if you will be there for them. If they can trust in you. And like I said, once this person is able to sh show them their true self, once they feel comfortable and allow themselves to just allow this to happen, I, I do feel like you are going to get what you want from this person. You know, that potential that you seem will shine. I see a lot of forward movement and a lot of loyalty with that cancer energy. I mean, this person is going to be loyal uh, to the end because you're giving them something that they've never had. And the thing is, is uh, I just see a very damaged person. And you being there and nurturing that and helping them and, and giving them that space, it means the world to them. And you seeing potential that no one else seen, you know, that's really going to pay off in your favor. Because <coughs> a lot of people missed out on this person. And it's a shame. But we all go through the things in our life that gets us to the point we are now. And it's how we move forward from now that changes everything. Um, you know, this person needed someone like you to come along. And I feel like you've been waiting for someone like this to, like I said, because with this person, you're going to get, you're going to get loyalty. You're going to get love. Uh, you're going to get respect. I mean, you're doing more for this person than anybody else has. And, you know, they will be grateful for that. Eternally grateful. Now with this person, we have uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Excuse me. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We have some Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. See, a lot of times people see someone and they have feelings for that person and they feel their energy and they, they're kind of drawn to that person. But sometimes when it seems like it's too much work, some people give up too easily. When they don't, you know, they don't understand that that effort goes a long way. <coughs> Excuse me. I have this bug lately. It's really driving me crazy. But, you know, you seeing something in this person is what's drawing you in. And I feel like, like I said, this person has been hurt on a deep level. And I feel like how you treat this person and and you giving to this person is, is help them heal and they will be grateful for that and you will see that moving forward you know sometimes people push us away they try to push us away intentionally just to see if we'll go and it's not it it really sounds like a game or may even feel like a game but to them it's not it's them it's them their way of testing to see if they can push you away and if you'll still be there, you know, and this person, you know, it is a sort of a game, but it's not for them. It's not malicious. They're not doing it to hurt you. They're doing it to see if you're going to hurt them. You know, and like I said, you being there for them and you, and, and you nurturing this and, and, and just be, helping them heal is what's going to gain you their trust. And that's what's going to gain you um, more than you even realize. Like I said, I feel like this person has more potential than maybe you even see. You know, we just, I feel like you know there's something good in this person. You know there's something that you really want to explore. Uh, not really sure what it is, but when you do see it, I feel like it's going to be more than you thought it was going to be, which is always a plus. That's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.